I've just come back from a trip uh, abroad to see a whole bunch of CIOs in, in one of our countries. And the one theme I had was, we want to build a cloud, but we don't know how. You know, it's kind of, well, you know, how do we build a cloud? We're having struggles. My, my number one answer to them was, well, you have an organization where you have a network team, a storage team, a compute team, and they're in these very tall, sort of hard-edged silos that, that don't talk to each other. Plus, they all have their own individual goals. I think the real challenge is around people and process and around the fact that if you've not got everyone in the IT organisation all towards delivering that service, instead you've got this guy over here who's about an available network and this guy is available, then, then you're never going to pull together as a team. Is that the sort of success criteria or modelling that you're seeing for the future companies? Is, is cutting across those boundaries or is there something else? When I see the companies winning with that problem, they've done several things. One, they've appointed a leader with absolute power over the whole thing. <laughs> yeah. The first thing he or she has done is knock down all the barriers and then they've shaken up those teams and rather having these silos, they become the team. Yeah. You need all that expertise, no doubt, but if it is held in isolation, you have a big problem. They have to talk. They have to work together. So as we, we look forward to these sort of new liquid business world, I suppose, where, where boundaries are, are going away, does that you know, there's obviously going to be an increased demand for sort of flexibility and elasticity in organisations. How is that going to play out for IT? I think this is a world of mega outsourcing. There are so many changes on so many fronts. If I look at manufacturing, for instance, it's not just the IT is changing fast. All of the technology to do with producing anything is changing fast. Why are we doing networks? Why are we doing computing systems, why are we doing our own clouds? It makes no sense. We have to get rid of all those things other people can do. It is a commodity, period. So we should be looking to other providers like VMware, for example, to provide IT services, I suppose, and technology Absolutely. as opposed to doing it yourself. Uh, you, you, have, you, you have to ask yourself a question. Do you want a bicycle or do you want a Rolls Royce? Mm -hmm. Or do you want a BMW? What kind of service do you require? How important is it to you? And I would suggest to you, that one of the worst things that happened is the jam spread equally across the company in terms everybody gets the same service no matter what, the security is the same at every level no matter what, that's not the way to do it. Mm -hmm.